could kiss you. But does. Oh my gosh! After after you making the sure shopkeep thing that uh, she, you called her the hag. Keep this in mind. Which has oh, is no, funny. No, she uh, well the shop. Tessarian thought that Carly called Florence a hag. Exactly, yeah. that's what's funny. It's just like, yeah, and then you turn around to do that. I didn't, I didn't even call, yeah. I didn't even call Florence anything. I called Sarah Show a bitch. I said, no more secrets, bitch, to, to Sarah Show. Which is hiding in Florence's I I always room. Uh, I was just watching Ruby and I just had this conversation with myself about people maybe not wanting all the answers they're asking for. <laughs> oh no! Uh, by, yeah. For example, everybody keeps asking questions about Donnie. Yeah. Donnie Donnie's the best. <laughs> Donnie is the best. Donnie this is, is the best. first time I'm meeting Donnie. Oh god. Donnie does what Donnie does. He's something. He's something. Donnie's a recurring character in like every single fucking yeah. adventure we have. Just watch if we if we do end up continuing with Carnival, which I hope we do. Um, the uh, just watch that like Donnie just appears in every city we're in. Donnie goes where Donnie pleases. Although the funny part being that even though Donnie is a recurring character, he is a recurring character who is introduced by another recurring character. Which is always Catharis. Hashtag Catharis. Catharis shows up in every adventure. Yep, yep, yep. But, um, yeah. And Florence asked, uh, fun, asked, oh, are we still talking about the AU first, so? Uh, I mean, I did I miss anything? I mean, Florence did buy stuff. Oh, yeah. Specifically, yeah. some light armor and a rapier. Can I say, I think it's super fucking sketch that that store that that Michael made up is giving like a hundred percent discounts. It's not a hundred percent discounts. It's like ninety five percent discounts. Uh, you slay two fucking zeros. You know what? I'm not gonna say anything, but I am gonna judge you very harshly. No, because also. Okay, let's 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 just put it this way. Out of character knowledge for the AU, he sliced sliced those prices mainly. Because of the fact that the DM knows that you're going to need items, what's going to happen? Awful. Oh, yeah. Well, but, but still. The shopkeeper used the excuse of, I need shelving in. Because I have I more. Shelving in my, I need shelving in my fucking personal universe. Actually, I mean, maybe. yeah, his shop is, like, entirely full of shit. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Huh. I, yeah, because I asked about it, and if, as you see in little parentheses, and it's, I get answers, and it's just kind of funny. I'm just like, oh. Oh, sh oh shit. Yeah. The yeah. only thing he did not price chop was the Ion Stone. Which was only 50 gold. I can get that now. <laughs> if all the gold is real. Yet Florence kind of took off the uh, took up the remaining amount. Why not? That's yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> I mean, that's what you. That to be fair, Carly was never intending to go back and pay that ten gold. <laughs> I know that, and that's why Florence is just like, you know, what? I'll just take the rest of it. I mean, it's just ten gold. <laughs> if I didn't. I mean, if, you have to go back to the shop and try to pay it. Wait a minute, I thought she did that while she was at the shop. No. We never specified. Gotta no, specify. Didn't. All you did was ask in parentheses if she could pay it, and I was all like, you can try. I thought once she saw that Carly didn't have an oath, I would think that that would be when she would pay it. I don't know. We'll take care of that at a later date. That's a later, that's an AU conversation. But now we have to get on with this stuff. I want to see what happens with the wedge. Oh, it's going to be, uh... In it's going to be interesting to say the fucking least. Oh gosh, it's going to be funny. Cause it's is, funny. is this going to be another Valios case? I mean, <laughs> probably. Something, maybe not quite like that, but it's definitely going to be a character-altering event. How about that? At the... <laughs> that or you die. 
No! That is a distinct can possibility. I, can I give here. him? Can I give him bardic inspiration for whatever is about to happen? I'm not even <laughs> sure, honestly. I'm fine trying to find context for this, like other. So, like, as a lawyer would do, I'm looking for precedents. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of precedents for this, even in the forums. No, no, mm. no. There's one thing I'm looking at. He's within 60 feet, so I can logistically bardic inspire him. If it would do any good. If it would do any good. <laughs> My bardic inspiration will be, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I hope you don't die, though. <laughs> this is what made him love her. <laughs> I know. It was this song great. that revived him on his deathbed, maybe. Or didn't. Yep. yep. And I do want this is not a part of this. I have healing tech. Which I take because I didn't fucking know any better. Oh god, great. Hmm. And and Axel, if you want, if you if you don't want us to react to what we did in like the first night of the like replay out what we did for like the stream or whatever, we can like go back and like record our voices and then just. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. You're going to have to, you know, get Michael's dumbness to do it, or you're going to have to do it, because I can't get him to do any work. That's why he's not a paid employee. He's just a contractor. <laughs> no insurance. That's okay. I have state insurance. Yeah. And then we'll just, we'll just all get together on a Wednesday and then stream that. <laughs> For the audience. Think of the audience, you guys. <laughs> What audience? <laughs> Loving listener. Yeah, we don't got none of those. Um, <laughs> nobody loves us. Nobody watches us. We're boring. It's probably yet. <clears throat> the commitment. <laughs> I love you, Axel. Mm, oh. Silence. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm just like, oh, get it. Oh, no, I'm just like, once again, trying to figure out context for this as well as create it, give it a little bit of my own flair, and uh, decide a couple things. All right. I'll be super disappointed if he fucking dies. Right? That's the real thing I got to figure out, and I haven't even thought of, is what what is even the likelihood that you should die from this? Probably pretty high, I feel like, but... Well, pretty high. Probably pretty high, right? That's what Don't I feel like. Right? Safe. Right? It's like being... jinx it. I don't know how high it should be though. Like that's really like I gotta make a I gotta pick a percentage and then we gotta pick high or low. Ah, uh. oh, fuck. Alright, well this is only on a D. Oh wait, no, that is a D hundred. Alright, well You prayed to Tia Matt, right? Yep. Roll two D one hundreds. Oh, and then I can spare somehow. We'll see. I'm giving him extra chances. Basically, this is his role to see. He's supposed to be a high level member of the cult, right? Yeah. And that's all mortal shit. Like Tiamat only gives a fuck about power. Let's be honest, and influence. So he's only as valuable as his power and influence is. We'll give him like a uh, I don't know, like a plus twenty. <laughs> All right, two D one hundreds. Let's go, baby. Do it. Come on, come on. Oh, I like that one bit. And uh, now thirty nine and a forty six. All right, so oh. that's that's not too bad. That's a fifty nine and a sixty six. Or is yep. that yeah? So, I mean, I feel like that's high enough that Team Matt hears you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, she, inspiration. she hears you. Oh, plus six. All right, 72. Now Yay. now we're going to roll Tiamat's one and see. And I feel like Tiamat is a god, so how much do you think I should get for a bonus? Like a million, right? I mean, if you gave Wedge a plus 20, you said? Yeah. I mean, you're a highlight-ranking member of your cult, right? Like, you got some yes. attributes that are meaningful. 
Because so probably like fifty, I, right? I was we thinking fifty to make way. it to make it even roughly fair. I figure fifty would be decent. Plus, we already know Katia Matt's actual stats, and most of them sit around fifty or seventy. So yeah, there's still a chance to beat this. That thing. wedge has in the Colt. He's basically third highest rank. I mean, that's not bad. If only he were stronger. Yeah, you're level fucking five, man. Yeah. Four. She's just like, say. I'll sneeze and your whole existence will be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's yeah. fair of most of the cults in, like, you know what I mean? There's different cults of Tiamat, so they'll, like, she could probably eat all of the cult leaders at once. She does yeah. got a bunch of heads. Anyway, let's, let's see. Uh... I'm gonna do it out in public. Oh god. Oh no. Nah, nah. She ain't listening. No! Oh no! She said, bitch, get a job! Bitch, get a job! <laughs> no, you like <laughs> that! Uh, so, we already we've determined that, you know, you don't have team mats good, good to go on this one, unfortunately. So, that's alright. We've done stuff without Tiamat before. Now you're going to go ahead and roll. And you're basically... You know what? Actually, I'm going to roll. Oh, God. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Because it's better if I roll. I have shitty rolls most of the time. Okay. I'm scared. So... You're scared? This is my character. Let's take a look at the stats again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just don't know why you would do something so fucking wildly reckless and stupid. No because magic, no magic, no preparations. Like, I'm gonna stick this wildly unrefined and soul in my mouth, nom 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 it, and stick it in my belly. <laughs> I, you know, Michael, though, I, I give you your guts. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's only only one way it's gonna go. I'm giving you the, the increased chance of actually, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how that's actually... No, it is a higher percentage chance because it's a d20. There's less numbers to actually hit, so your likelihood of hitting a higher number goes up percentage-wise. It's all still relatively the same, but with your luck, hopefully, this will make a difference. If it's off my luck, shouldn't I roll? <laughs> oh, you are going to be rolling. I just rolled to see what the challenge was. to give Instead of making it like a hard thing, I'm all right. This is the percentage of what the run is, so... You're gonna go ahead and roll a constitution save. Alright. Oh! 22! <gasps> that is that's, pretty good. That's 18 plus 4. Alrighty. So now you have got basically a... Oh man, you got a plus. So now you roll your d100, buddy. And good luck to you. <laughs> What the fuck kind of roll was that? That's a 53. All right, and now is your choice. Low or high? <laughs> low. You're going to go low? Yeah. Because now no, I'm feeling too confident about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Wedge is a character, he's 100% sure of it. Of so me and this controller? No. <laughs> I'm gonna live! <laughs> Alright, so. Fortunately for you, Yay. <laughs> it looks like you've lived. Unfortunately for you, uh. <laughs> you're about to take 78 damage. Oh! oh. Um, Does anybody if, have some, uh... If we go negative, I'm sitting at negative... You said how much? 78? Yeah. I'm sitting at negative 68 health. Okay, so, uh... You rolled 22, right? For my con save, yes. Yes. Alright. So... That's, uh, that's still gonna, unfortunately, be, uh, 54 damage, my friend. 54? So I'm at negative... I'm at negative 44! Are you negative double your health? Or are you are you negative your health? 
He is exactly negative as hell. Yeah. Fuck! I that didn't make them dead, I didn't, I didn't make those numbers up. You can look at the stream right now. And so how it worked was, the first number I rolled was the number he had to match to. If he was higher than the high number, he died. If he was lower than the low number, he died. He was higher than the low number and lower than the high number. So he's fine. So he didn't insta-die. But regardless, he was going to take 1d100 points of damage for eating a fucking soul. Mitigated by the amount of constitution save he got. So, so he's dead dead then. Yeah. Uh, you, Ooh. I'm going to describe the scene as best I can. Um, <laughs> so you see him put the large orb inside of his mouth. Uh, and swallow. And, and I say, and, <laughs> you dumb fuck! And as it goes down, uh, you see Wedge's face just kind of go, hmm, hmm. And then smoke begins to rise out of his nose. <laughs> oh. As, uh, unfortunately, the sphere superheats <laughs> and burns a hole through Wedge's stomach, making it fall out of where his intestines would be. <laughs> Which I think would cause 78 points of damage. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah all right. And maybe I should have had someone heal me a little bit. Just I was going to say, you didn't even take any goddamn health bonuses or nothing. You just <laughs> ate that bitch. I had to let you die, Michael. I can't protect you forever. I, can't I know. I can't protect your character from stupidity forever. <laughs> If only I had one more point of health. One point of- I literally didn't make that up either. It was 78. It was, the numbers just worked out. I was like, alright, if it kills him, it kills him. I can't save him. I can't, like- I couldn't let you eat the soul and not take a hit for it. There's just, like, no world in which that would have been something you wouldn't be damaged for. Those, are, those, those things are usually hashtag super bound onto, like, objects. And then they give those objects superpowers. Like, the two instances I could find, right, were the soul cage and the soul coin. And the soul coin is a soul bonded to a coin, right, that gives you the ability to do a couple different things. And that was going to be your, your payoff if you lived, was you were going to get some interesting stuff. Depending, too, you had another level of stuff to fuck with, but the world will never know. <laughs> And she kind of uh, looks away, like, uh, <laughs> Hey, who had the- who had the skull? You did. I did? Cool. I go over and I say, fix it. <laughs> I just- I fucking- <laughs> how, Fix it! How the f- I just- <laughs> I don't even think I can fix this. Do you see this thing? <laughs> Somebody put a hole right through it. You <laughs> fixed did you see the size difference? <laughs> Unlike in certain areas, in whole, you know, for death, size does matter. Can you try? I'm a necromancer. I'm not a. I can't bring people back to life. I'm a yeah. lich. A fucking necromancer. That's like death magic or whatever. Yes, death magic, not life magic. He could have cast false life on me to give five temporary hit points. I could have done that. <laughs> and hindsight is absolutely a bitch. <laughs> At the same time, I really wanted to see if he could take it. Like, he had some confidence. Yeah. If only I had one more health. See, I feel like he almost did. Almost! <laughs> I, you know, I can't. I don't know how to deal with this because I honestly warned the man. I think everybody here. I always warned him. Even you, you think he would listen to you? No. All right, so. Not uh, me, Now here's here's the thing. <clears throat> I don't believe that I can bring him back to life. Maybe. Shit. I'm trying to look up the necromancer spells. 
but... Well, this turned out about how I expected it to. But here's the thing I can do. Mm -hmm. You bring me a body. Can, uh, I can bring you something. <laughs> bring me something. Yeah, I mean, he'll be kind of like him. <laughs> the bed is right there. There's a body right in front of you, man. Skull. Well, it needs to be a different body. Uh, what about... What about... I have... I have... Uh, what's his face is soul. Zap knows his soul. I technically do. But okay with I stole it back from you. I didn't successfully slide of hand it, so you just saw me reach in your bag and take it back out. But I have it. Uh, why don't you take that? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no yeah. trust in this group. It's fine. Florence is fine. Just trust me. Trust me. This is not fine, Dr. Florence has Florence some trust serious me. trust issues now. Just, just trust me. It's fine. Meanwhile, your companion is dead with a hole in his stomach. Uh, it's really gruesome, too. You should get Diffie to, to draw that one, Michael. <laughs> Sarah Show looks on in horror. And tells the worst snake joke you've ever heard. Here's another little thing. Oh my god. Another thing that hasn't been really explained about Sarah Show and Wedge. One of them dies, the other dies. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I mean, I was waiting probably like, you know, a week or two before I dropped that fucking bomb in the alternate universe, but oh. it had to be dropped now. Yeah, yeah, uh, so uh, this is just great. Everything's just great because every. <laughs> Why'd you fucking stop? <laughs> because there's a fucking wedge by Tiamat. Oh, God. Wait, you stop! <laughs> okay, 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 wait, 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 I've heard Claret can undo this whole thing if we're quick. So, I have Zathros's soul. If, if you eat this, eat this soul, Jerax, if you eat this soul, can you fix him? Oh uh, mm, 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 mm. Be honest Pro now. I'm very upset right now. Uh, Generax, I'm very upset. Okay, I, I see that, and I'm trying to give you an answer that's not going to piss you off. All right? All right? <laughs> see, any answer, ooh, and Florence got any times in, any answer you give is going to piss her or piss her off. Yeah, uh, you're right. No, All right, well. a reasonable <laughs> fucking person. <laughs> you do not sound like a reasonable person. so far. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but basically, yeah, it goes, I'm just like, uh, all right, I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm. Yes. I don't want him okay. in there. Wait a minute, I got a quick question. Would yeah. reincarnation work on him? Well. If, I mean, if we could find a druid that would take him. or someone I mean, like technically, that. I think anything would work on him. He's just dead. You just gotta find someone to bring him back to life. Happens all the time. Yeah, so we just need we just need a high level cleric, and you can just fucking snap their fingers and get a diamond and be done with it. Yeah, no, I mean you're right that that, but I don't I don't I don't want him in here. Yeah. Okay, but is there another okay. option, darling? Darling, is there another option? I mean, I could not do it and laugh. Uh, do you really want to uh, catch hell with her? Oh, I mean, shit. I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm not dealing Listen, with her. Jenny, save me! I, no, Jenny, never. I'm not. I'm not particularly strong, like physically, but I'm very devious, and I live for a pretty long time. Not compared to you, but I live for a pretty long time, and I am a hundred percent willing to go down with this fucking ship and this fucking 
whatever we're in, because I almost said Mimic and Carly doesn't know that, in this fucking hell world that we're in, I will leave us both in here, I swear to God. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. I want to leave just as badly as you do, okay? I just don't like you people. I'm just going to state that even though they can't see it, Wedge's spirit is standing next to his body. He's like, huh. I I expect that to go better. (laughs) (laughs) Then you heard me say, Wedge, you dumb fuck. Yep. (laughs) Huh, I can't message Wedge now. You dumb motherfucker. Okay. So, I'm very calmly asking. All right, look. Will you take this move? All right, look. Here, there's one other thing we could possibly do. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how this will work out, but it's a possibility. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You could put that soul in him. You know what? And you just hear Colin says, you know, it's already bad enough that I can't find, uh, apparently... Ori- the original stuff I have with me and everything under the sun that I probably had on me, but probably better than the dagger I had, is gone. And this idiot, once he got a motion to the wedge, had officially killed himself because he couldn't listen. And mm-hmm. now you're gonna, and, and we're gonna just stick the soul in him and just see if that fixes everything. What happens if I stick the soul in him? Well, I mean, theoretically. Mm hmm. The soul just needs a body. I mean, I don't believe that the cleric died. He was just imprisoned in that soul, and then his body was killed. There's a difference, okay? okay? So if you put him into this body, he should theoretically be much like if you would put him in this skull with me. You would just be putting him into another dead body, or a piece of a dead body. From there, he could cast a spell and heal your friend. Or, you know, resurrect him. Which I'm assuming, considering he's a cleric, he would want to do. Since he wouldn't want to live in a dead body. <laughs> Florence is just like... It uh, looks to Jenny Cataract. He's just like, you know, if I originally had stuff on me, is there a way to get our stuff originally back? Because I don't think I can do anything with just nothing on hand. And he's like, Her yes, soul. but you're not gonna like the answer. Oh, Wedge's okay. soul is just going to point out, even though no one can hear him. This could have been avoided if you just gave me his soul to begin with. I mean, yeah. I mean, but at the Technically. Same... Technically. But Florence also knows damn well what just, after watching what just happened. Uh, nope, it doesn't make any sense. In all fairness, I consumed an unknown soul. Yes, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, first off, Florence and Jenny, please, Wait, you don't ever, have to stand so far away. You can come over to me. Did we ever say what the soul was? I thought we just said it was of a high no. level creature. All you said was it was high level and it was bigger than uh, Zarathos's. Yeah. yeah. Physically yeah. bigger. Mm-hmm. Yep, and it was, it was great. So. So, please, guys, come over, come over, come closer. Help me decide this. Do you think that that is a good idea, Florence? Do you think I should just, like, just shove it in? I mean, I mean, it's up to you, because right now everybody has seemed like, okay, everything could go hell in a handbasket, but at the same token, he did revive me, quote-unquote. And I use those words. Speaking of hell in a handbasket. This one. This one revived you, and I am gesturing to the skull. This one revived you, hypothetically. But also, he's also saying something that, now thinking about it, does make sense. No resurrected. Hi, guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence sees that, and no. <laughs> the, the, the soul of Wedge turns around. I pass. <laughs> Well, Is hi, Wedge nice? and Wedge. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Wedge is hmm. a, Wedge is a bit dead now. Hmm. We're trying to we're trying to figure that out. Can I see if that's actually Paez and not a not a meat mound? Yeah, check. 
minutes. What kind of check is it? Investigation? Or perception. They're fucking same. Uh, 15 plus 4 is 19. Not me, uh, says Donnie. Uh, I have a quick question. Can Florence see pay it? Uh, pay it? I told you, come over. Yeah, you should be able to. The The branches are high enough that you should be able to see around the trunk down there. Granny mm -hmm. Pies is pretty tall, so you can only see the bottom half, but, I mean, you can see. You should definitely be able to see. Just doing an investigation. I, I'm not getting anywhere near after my nightmare fuel with watching how Wedge died. Listen, we're trying to work around it. We're trying to figure it out. But, uh, and she kind of looks back to Jenny. Yeah, you were saying about the, you know. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, will it work? Theoretically, yes, but yes, she said it'll work, yes. She, she, <laughs> I swear to God. Down with the ship, I swear to God. All right, all right, all right. All right. What, what, Jenny, darling? I listen to Half Face over here. What? You shut up, Jenny. No, you <laughs> shut up, Jenny. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the interruption, darling. Go ahead. Anyway. Theoretically should work, but well We're making a lot of assumptions here, and now I have a soul that has nowhere to go She said pointing at the large soul on the ground Yeah, also, uh, it might explode if we don't do something with it Cool 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 um um um, Carly, or not, I'm Carly, you're Florence. Florence! <laughs> Great, this is just getting great. <laughs> oh, Paez, uh, also Paez looks pretty normal. Uh... Okay, cool, cool, awesome, love it, cool. Um, Florence. Yep, it's just a little off, but you just can't quite tell why. Cool, 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 cool. Um, cool. Um, Florence, do you have like a magic thing that'll help like pick up, pick him up and move him away from the expo the explodable soul? I was gonna say a wedge would be very upset if he was resurrected, only to be blown up by a soul. <laughs> and I think that would be the best episode we've ever made. <laughs> Florence would just have a freaking field day. Oh gosh, you'd have a field day. Um, Florence, Florence, Mage Hand only lifts ten pounds, Florence. I'm not, I'm not that strong, Florence. No. I know, I get what you're saying, and I have an idea. <laughs> okay. Um, she's going to move cautiously towards where Wedge's body is. Donnie's just like, you don't have any friends, Katharis. No. Stand like right beside me. She gets beside me and I say, boo! <laughs> okay, can I get that tone back? Dang it. No, no, no. no. Yes. Yes, you want my help here? Okay. And I give it back. Thank you. You're welcome. And Florence starts to do the ritual casting for the spell. Ah, yes. Floating that takes ten minutes, a ritual casting. It takes like ten or eleven minutes. I mean, what else are we doing? <laughs> sitting around Wedge's dead body? Yeah. And sitting beside a landmine. Wedge, you could send it, you know, make your servants do this. Uh, and hopefully, in those ten, uh, that ten minutes, she's able to do that, that the floating disc spell. Oh, already? And kindly move the uh, wedge body. Alrighty, so where where are we moving wedge to? <laughs> now that he's dead. Maybe like, maybe like over here. Maybe. Yeah, yeah definitely away from the. 
Yeah, it's like it's like thirty feet away. Plenty of feet away. And we leave the soul right there. Oh, right. oh. Baez is just like, you drop this. <laughs> you know I stand in front of I stand in front of this guy, and I say, "Hey, can I have your snake?" Uh, he's gonna look over at Sarah Show, and he's gonna be like, "How about I just come with you guys?" Okay, let's go. Let's go over there. Yeah. Jenny, Jenny, come here. Oh, you. you we just pick them up and move them. You you walk all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 okay so. I should we put the soul in him? I mean, I'll buy him for questions, then, which we kindly need to talk about because he was saying something and I kind of got it. Yeah, I interrupted you. I've, I'm sorry. It's a very stressful day for me today. No! Uh, how do you think I feel? <laughs> it's not a very good day. No, no, what no, the no, fuck no. is that? Please. Hey, hey, quick, quick question, buds. Buds, buds, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? That's where probably the soul is. What is that, though? <laughs> what is that? Image? Guys, guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Is that an anime girl? <laughs> I looked up maid, and that's what it brought up. Okay. All right. Look, you don't want to awesome. see the other one. This was the other one. Now she's got a gun. Oh, God. <laughs> Anime girls with guns. This is bad. Oh, God. My God. <laughs> yeah, today is a very stressful day for me, Florence, so I'm sorry I interrupted you. Jenny! Jenny! Come here, Jenny, please. Ah! Yeah, that's Jenny. <laughs> Why is the soul here? Wait, is that the soul or Jenny Cataract? That's uh, Jenny Cataract. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought I thought this thing over here was Jenny Cataract. What is I think this? This is an eagle. That's just an eagle. Why is there an eagle? <laughs> I don't even know what the f this is. At. As a matter of fact, what the f is this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I don't know where it came from or what it is, and I don't know how it got on here. <laughs> oh, look, it's okay. Okay. No, no, stop. Okay. When you zoom in, you can see that it's a person who has wings yeah. spread out. I, I so can see I, that. That was originally Jenny Cataract. But Jenny Cataracts would have been over here. Well, it, actually, when we left off, all of them were moved over here by the wake, lake, away from Wedge. Cause yeah, we all moved over here. Exactly. I'm fucking crying, you so guys. What's this? <laughs> How do you think I'm feeling? I still don't know who this is, because I never gave Jenny a model. Not in this age. <laughs> you know, I, so I thought it was her. I thought that was Jenny. I her. don't know what that is. I have no idea. I think I added it last time to motivate some action and then forgot to tell you about it or some shit. Who knows? Impromptu D&D. And this entire time we thought it was Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny's been in her shack this whole time, so she's like, doesn't even oh. need... Yeah, that's why she didn't she's leave either. She's just like, step behind the corner of the door like, good luck with your soul, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But then we just fucking left the the um soul in front of her fucking door. Yeah, because someone's just an Alex. In all fairness, things would have been fine if I had just one more point of health, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> in hindsight, you were not thinking. You were playing your character true and true. Oh, don't worry, Carly. It'll be fine, Carly. Blah, 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 Carly. Blah, 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 blah. You fucking died. You know, Florence is, like, very much debating. And he's just, like, kind of dead from his own stupidity. After he had I, killed me. I, 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 I may have not taken it to the point that I was at 10 of 44 health. Hmm. 
That's why I don't feel bad about killing you. You just made a bunch of poor decisions. I was like, yeah, he basically just needs to die for this, but, like, I'll give him a chance. I even gave you a chance. Those rolls and everything. I, I almost did it. You dumb fuck. He was literally, he was like that guy who got two Mount Everest in fucking, uh, not Happy Gilmore, but, uh, Mr. Deeds, and then died when he planted the flag. <laughs> like, he was, like, one health point away from getting out of that bitch. <laughs> or instead of rolling an 18, if I rolled a 19 on yep. my constitution. Mm -hmm. You know what I should have done? I should have rebardic inspired you. <sighs> Might have helped. You oh, well. Plus six. But next time. But yeah, uh. uh oh, yeah, next time, time Wedge tries to eat a soul. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so like. So, like, over under. What happens if I put this soul in his dead body? Hmm. Well. Uh. The cleric will. Be substantiated in the skull. That's... If I if I put if I put him in the dead body. Yes, that's where that's that's where it just substantiates in the body. Right, so they always go to the head. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I was confused. I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, yeah. So once you do that, it will take over the body. However. Mm -hmm. Uh, currently the body is not in good shape, and it'll still be no. there. So you might need to do something about that, but you fix the body up. Uh, will it do anything if I cast, uh, if I cast... There's a specific spell that I think of what you're looking for, and it's called Regeneration. I cast, can I cast Cure Wounds? Will that do anything? Check. I mean, the, check? Basic, the description itself just says it regains hit points, but it doesn't say anything about, you know, closing any wounds. Or, uh, I mean, that's true, but what do we assume regaining hit points means, you know what I mean? we got to assume that the say, injuries are at some point healed. Yeah, and it does say this spell has no effect on undead or constructs, though. But I'm not undead. You're dead, <laughs> You're just yes, dead. Not undead. So, uh, yeah. prestigitation and mending dead inanimate bodies are considered objects. So, does does that will that would that work? It said that's what it was saying. I was reading up some. I mean, it's not like an official ruling because it doesn't seem like there probably is one on this. <laughs> I mean, like a chair has hit points. Florence kind of comments. Can you? Although there is a. Someone that could kind of fix this. Round. Oh boy. Carly's anxiety is at like ten right now. Meanwhile, Florence. Not ten. Florence is just chill right now, just like. I knew what else that could probably fix this, but then again, I'm not sure if she. I don't know if she's still around. Hmm. <laughs> and Axel knows the running gag joke. I've, I've already kind of explained the running gag joke of almost. as well as, um. Michael kind of knows the joke of the whole. They always try to leave. make it so some of my characters try to connect the dots together if it's feasible. Mm -hmm. Without it being mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Yee. So Axel knows what I'm referring to when I mean that, uh, that little phrase. Well, if it's a left. So yeah, I'd say mending. Or, uh, prestigitation. Wait. I've neither. I. Florence has prestigitation. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Florence, do it. Do it right now, Florence. Do it, do it, do it. Florence, what are you waiting for? Do it! Fine. <laughs> <laughs> just like, alright, I'll let's use that something. I mean it's a cantrip anyway. Yeah. Do a bunch. And like, yeah, she does it up to three uh three 
All right. Does it work? I mean, it seems to. You, you know, you close up the pieces. I'd say roll, roll maybe a. Uh, what do we have? Medicine checks? Maybe roll a medicine check to make sure you get. The you pieces. have advantage because I'm helping. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, you did that. So now you guys can plant the corpse in the bot. Uh, the sorry, the soul in the corpse. <laughs> Without the corpse in the body. <laughs> we got four. We're okay. We're not trying to stitch together a fucking zombie. Uh, I make no promises. <laughs> Did you forget your prophecy already? <laughs> yeah, oh boy. And me. I, I just I just want to take the time to st say this right now. I love you all. <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, okay. In the meantime, Florence, in the mean, while they are doing chaos and curd, Florence is going to ask about what were you mentioning about saying if you wanted other things about it's going to be a lot harder? Hmm. So, you're just not going to like it. It's not very hard necessarily, but you're going to have to go to the anus. <laughs> <laughs> and Floyd is just like quietly just like I'm not gonna go digging through someone's um <laughs> Right. But you oh, might wanna go there for your clothes. Wait a minute, are we running around? <clears throat> Wait, are we fucking naked right now? <clears throat> I like how nobody stopped checked asked by any of their armors or etc. Yeah, hey, okay. how about we check their armor, guys? Nobody ever checked, they're just like, alright, well, the only one who even kind of did was Florence, because she had been like, all right, I don't have a weapon that I want to use. And then two, that uh, Wedge had been obviously grabbing shit. So, yes, she was checking herself. But even then, had not checked to make sure that, one, the armor was real, that etc., 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 and that you weren't being yeah. faked out again. You guys Can checked I... the environment, but not yourselves. Can I just check if everything I have is, is real? Yeah, let's do a group roll for that, because that'll take a little bit. Except for me, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, Floris can do the check for you. I mean, you're wearing light armor. Is he? What does a what does a nat twenty get me? Oh shit! All right, send me your item yeah. list. Like your full uh, list of stuff. List. Is it on your How character? Do I get... It's on my character. All right, yeah. as long as it's on that. Yeah. Everything except look. for the soul and the letters. Wait, how do I read are this as a PDF? On my person. God damn it. Are on my person. On my cheat. Yeah, Isn't there a um, quick way am I still to view it as a PDF? Roll? Am I still supposed to roll or no? She, did she, the Snap 20 covered it. I mean, that's for her. She okay. could tell you what all your stuff is if she wants to, I guess, if she looks at your stuff. <laughs> if you rolled a Nat 20, I... then yes. Okay, an investigation. I got an 18 at least. Yes, you did. That's pretty good. Right, Here, I'll, I'll I don't have send your you my new... Oh, yeah. I'll send you my character sheet. I don't know if you have it or not. Yeah, we'll get it again, because I have the one from D&D Beyond, but it's tougher to look at all the items at once on that one, because it's not in PDF. Form. There, it's the actual link for D&D Beyond. All right. Do, 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 carnival sheets. Oh, no, that's what I was saying. I do have that one, but this one's actually harder to see all of your items than it is in the regular item list. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's on, like, different pages, and it's, like, your equipment, and then your weapons, and I, I, ar armor and shit are on different pages, whereas... Oh, so, I shared it, but I shared it to you, but that's not... It, did it give you, like, a PDF or something? No, it probably is here somewhere. Uh... It is. It's under equipment. Look under equipment. Yeah, under it equipment. is under there, but once again, it's all spread all the way so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Inventory, equipment, as opposed to the one, and then not all of the times are your equipment's, uh... No, that's attunement. Equipment under inventory, yeah. But once again... I was gonna say, if you go, if you just go to equipment, the first tab should be all, and it should literally have everything that's in there. Yeah. Because, as I see it, I can see everything she has, but then again, I'm doing this on my phone. I'm on the computer, and I can see everything, I but I'm there. Yeah, I see it.
All right, so that is all the stuff you got then, right? Yeah. I'm making sure, because the and only one with any amount of actual shit on theirs is yours. The I don't have on there the soul and the two letters. Right. What, uh, what, why does a bard have a holy symbol and stakes? That came in a bag I had. Oh. <laughs> Whereas oh, Michael's yeah. got armor... Arrows, no, no, he's got arrows, leather, longbow, quiver, short sword, whip. That's all he's got. Why do you have nothing? Because Wedge like, travels with only what he needs. This, all this junk came in like an adventure gear or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't do that. I only grab the stuff that he needs. Oh. Fine. But that's everything I have. All right, so for I'm you, ready to delete. Your the things that you still have on you are as follows, not including stuff you oh. got after you woke up. Uh, you uh, have your oh wait wait manacles. let me get my notebook let me get a notebook and a pen sorry <laughs> so that I can write it down before you have to repeat it later. No Okay, okay. I'm ready. Alright, so you have your manacles. You have I think how long this may have been as long as your holy what's your holy symbol? It just came in a bag. It's nothing I don't have well, it's usually, nothing like you I just have it. it. Yeah. Because a holy symbol can be picked usually as like an item or something. But it's fine. We'll say you have that. You have the dagger, the crossbow, the crossbow bolts. I guess you're carrying a full chest. What? It says so in your inventory. Uh, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> That's why I was asking people. I'm like, are you sure this is all right? That's why I don't like doing these ones. Okay, so does what not I did when I was setting down. up the character, what I did when I was setting up the character, um, she it like. It was like starting equipment or gold, and I picked starting equipment. And one of the bags that had me pick apparently had all this shit in it. <laughs> I, that's just funny. Let's, let's remove the chest. Hold on, can so, we pause, go to the other two, and come back to me? Yeah, I mean, those. that's it. That's all you got, so. Oh. So just the manacles, the holy symbol, the dagger, the crossbow bolts, and crossbow, and then a fucking chest? Yep. No money? Anything that you didn't have before you were at the carnival. So if you made Shit. it after you got to the carnival, you're good. Shit. <laughs> so if I... Oh, how much money did I have and before actually, I started the carnival? How do I find that out? I was there for 20 years. I don't know. How much does your character... How much did your character make at the carnival this last couple? Oh, no. Uh, oh, and um, then even then, only about 50% of that money is real. Oh, oh no. I don't know. That goes for uh, you two as well, but you're only you guys are only able to see however much percentage of it is real based on what your roll is. If you roll a twenty, you can see it all, obviously. Uh, but I got an eighteen. So some you think some coins are real and that are not real. As for your equipment, <laughs> basically. Dead. You didn't give a fuck. Yeah, poor dead bastard. <laughs> poor dumb poor dead bastard. As for, uh, but it's funny food. though. So yeah. anything that's not uh, made of heavy metals or uh, like crystal stuff like that would have been dissolved whenever you were picked up by this mimic. So I need less. Uh, let's see. So probably your writing kit. Uh, you would have sand, but maybe not the bag. I don't know what your books are bound in, but if they're bound in leather, <laughs> the leather would be dissolved. <laughs> Sand. Pocket sand. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. assuming that they are wearing some heavy metal stuff that is, you know, because they're scholar robes. Uh, oh my god, we're yeah, gonna pop are... out of this naked! Yeah. <laughs> Unless you got some metal armor. <laughs> 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 
Um, and your small um, knife is good, but yeah, your your parchment, anything you did not, you obviously pick up today. Yeah. And even wait, do I not have my leather armor? <clears throat> so the parchment paper is no bueno, right? Yeah. Um, ink, ink and ink pen. That would be in a glass chamber, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be all right. Uh, it was as for the books. It was a book of lore, which I'm guessing is damaged. It would be. I think your spell book would have magic affinity defense, but aside from that, any regular books would have damage. So, and the sand, and the little bag of sand is sand. Mm-hmm. And your robes, unless they are also magic of some kind. Uh, the robes are supposed to be, from what I'm understanding, it's supposed to be of the cloister. Of the scholars, uh, the, is a robe of your cloister. Because remember, yeah. she's a cloistered, uh, It is, but I think it's just a standard set of robes. I don't think it's ruined or imprinted with anything. So those would be damaged, or gone. So okay. I... Depending on how PG yeah. this adventure is, not <laughs> Uh, I'm naked. I have no armor. I have. What about my loot? No, you don't got a loot. <laughs> Was your loot made of treated, treated heavy woods? Or it's probably it? a treated wood. But is it a heavy um, wait wood? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What else? Like wait a half or a handle? You Let probably have your loot me. handle. Oh no. <laughs> Can I still even cast spells? Oh, that's right, though. Yours should be magic. I'm a bard! Yeah, it should be a magic instrument. It should be Is it? I don't think so. It's not like I magic mean... in the sense that you get a plus one, but it's like your magical affinity item, much like the spellcaster spell book. Okay. So I should have no loot then. Also, you could use your voice. That too. Oh, changes the whole vibe of the first night of the AU. That just changes the whole vibe. We're all just fucking <laughs> naked. <laughs> we, we'll have the we'll have the AU start off after. Nick so, <laughs> in some versions of the Forgotten Realm, in some versions of the Forgotten Realm, you actually store your spells in your bardic uh, uh, instrument. Okay, so if I store my spells in my bardic instrument, then your bardic instrument would be safe. Okay. I mean, a bard's not the same as a wizard, so I'm guessing the uh, it'd be probably stored in there. Uh, the. Uh, but I've been singing like canonically for all my stuff. Does that mean my voice well, that just is means... the instrument? You can use that too. Usually, a voice is an accompaniment, but it can be the main. I mean, I, I don't know. Technically, the original sure. solo melody was from vocals. That's up to you, though. The real question is, what are we doing with the soul in this dead body? No, 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 Oh yeah, that's where the other book comes from. Uh, so those books are damaged, <laughs> which she's going to when she fi when she sees that she's gonna be kind of sad. Well, you can always fix them with oh. press digitation. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She does. She's like, oh, sh should I not supposed to get these things damaged? I do not want to deal with late fees. Or damage it because a mimic got a hold of them. Um. And. Just be sure the library is not a mimic. <laughs> oh, Eats you no. when you when you have late dues. It's a it's a neutral good mimicness. <laughs> ah, you're late. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So this is where I learn that I've picked. I've learned again that I have picked the one background that comes with no money. Yeah, I could have told you that. So, we have no money. Yeah, you vagabond, baby. Didn't you Aww. earn some money to in the carnival? I earned money in the carnival. 
Yeah, half the money you earn in the carnival is real. Oh, okay, okay. Because oh. <laughs> there's a mix of real and fake sure. people in the carnival with real and fake money. Because okay. money is not dissolved when you're eaten by the fucking mimic. Okay, that makes sense. I apologize. I mean, well, oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, you're fine. I'm just by the way, just want to pick, on the fact that, pick up on the fact that only, like, things that, you know, uh, what didn't, didn't dissolve as a reason what would give a hint. You roll your intelligence for that, make or wisdom, and see if you, if you notice. I mean, it's kind of weird that only, let's see. An 18. Yeah, that's a, yeah. You, you put the clues together, like, hmm. I noticed this. So, and Florence kind of brings it to Carly. Don't you find it weird that only things that got dissolved and our things are, uh, our belongings are, um, things that, you know, that, it, like, if something acid ate it. Acidic. Hmm. That is kind of weird. But we're going to circle back to that in just a minute. I mean... <laughs> I'm holding a fucking soul in my hands. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if this is real, who knows? Wait a um, and I... Go way, ahead. And Florence also brings up... Also, how do you feel with me? Because she realizes... And since we have money, right? Where we have metallic money, right? Mm -hmm. How much of it did yours? Di how much of your money dissolve? Half of it. Oh, half of it's not real. Half of it's not real. Yeah. Uh, None of my money dissolved, but half of it's just not real. Oh, and I have this chest for some reason that I don't remember ever having. I'm just gonna drop it on the ground, and it's gonna stay here forever. At this point. Because I forgot I had it. I just want to remind you, this is a 25-pound chest you've just been you... secretly lugging around on your back this whole time. <laughs> like, man, I could have done so much more in so many more situations had I only not been weighed me... down. Wait a minute, let me see. Wait a minute, how big is the chest? Let me know. It, the chest is 25 pounds. <laughs> 25 pounds, Florence! I'm just sitting here holding this chest in my hands. Like, For reference, that's not like a full oak chest, but that's like an oak inlaid chest. Yeah, it's like a 12 cubit -y, 12 cubit feet. Yeah, yeah, you want it? You can have it. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take it. There you go. Yeah. You can have it. Yeah, it's what that, does. That makes my, my load a lot easier to bear, because now I just have a fuck ton of money and no pockets to put it in except for nature's pocket, which I'm not interested in doing. <laughs> I have never heard it called far. that, and I will remember that. Wait a minute. So I'm guessing the rug's gone, right? We're fucking naked, lady! I need to upload. Like, oh, great. You uh, just cut me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We, uh, wait a minute, Florence still has the cloak, right? Uh, um... The cloak. Oh, the that cloak. cloak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, no, no, yeah. No, 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 no. That, uh, that's, uh... <clears throat> But is it a real cloak? <laughs> I told you, God. Um, you... Nobody ever got... checked the anti-magic cloak to see if it was real, and I then wondered it. why it didn't I... work. Florence hey, did let's check you... it. Did remember Florence? I, did. Did. Florence, I have I a quick did... logistical question. Yes. Um, since my armor dissolved, do I have to unclick it in D and D Beyond so I have yeah. a lower armor class? Yep. Yeah. Yes. I let it slide because obviously I didn't want to give it away that you had a lower armor class. And sometimes in, in and sometimes in that effect I would actually make things hit that usually wouldn't be because of the extra one. But it's it's a hard secret to keep. Alright, I unclicked my armor. I don't have I it just anymore. love it that no one is like, I already told you like four episodes ago to question everything. Everything and everyone. I we're just it? We are, we are, we are. There's it's a couple. Been taking it a bit. There's a couple people you still got to question. Some some people you just naturally trust because their name sounds nice. Fucking uh, is this real? Is the skull real? <laughs> Can I check if both of those are real? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 
That's why I was like, there's always one thing that you think you've checked everything, but you've checked something similar. So like the thing with the, the cloak too, we checked the spear, we checked those rings or whatever, that or the glasses that ended up being fake. But there's always one that we forget about. It's always one person or one thing that gets slipped in the mind, and that's why it's so fun to do this this kind of like what's real and what's not real. But yeah, go ahead and roll some perception there. Oh yeah, I'm I'm fucking certain they're real. Certain. <laughs> I've never been certaininer of anything in my fucking life. They're real because I got a nat one. Twenty <laughs> one. Uh, oh, nice. Very nice. And which what you're doing for the skull and Jenny? Yeah. Wait, I have All right, Volar. Now we give you the secrets. Please tell me this isn't about to be the most nightmare fuel. And the Florence needs more nightmare fuel. Meanwhile, Soul Form Wedge is trying to poke Carly to no avail. <laughs> <laughs> Can he Gotta roll those Can D100s, son. <laughs> I don't know. That's still a perception thing. Ghosts have perception, so he'd have to roll oh, for well, it. I guess I'll roll perception. <laughs> Ghost boner. <laughs> Can you have a hard on if you're, you know, all incorporeal? Oh, oh no. What? Oh no. Wedge knows you're all naked. He rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> you're supposed to roll it. A... Oh wait, no, yeah, no. You roll d100 to try to get them to see you. But yeah, d d20. You see them all naked. You also see yourself naked and in the same position you're in currently in real life. So, yeah. Oh, God. So, you still see the pussy there, stud? I'm real quiet. Okay, you put yourself in this predicament. Wedge is laughing so hard right now, he wants to see if his laugh can somehow break the boundaries of time and space and they can hear it. You know what you gotta do? Uh, you roll D100. D100. All right, D100, baby, let's do this. That's a 46. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this no. is so fucking good. This is just great. They used to be just a naked bard and a maybe naked Florence. If she's, if that cloak is, if that cloak, cloak also exists, because I will roll for that cloak to, if it exists. Roll for the cloak. Please tell me the cloak is real. With a 16, I'm questioning. Let's see, Axel. Let's see. It's... You're trying to see if what's real? The, uh... The cloak. Yeah, no. Cloak's fake. <laughs> That's why there were a lot of times... There are a lot of times prior, so like you were using the cloak, remember when we were down in the uh, dungeon? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you were still seeing illusions and shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was totally <laughs> a fake. Oh, yeah. I determined that 90% of the shit that he gave you would be fake. One, because they were way too strong. Like, the bluffing one was ridiculous. To be able to go, to go, you know what I mean, disguise after someone's already recognized you is ridiculous and comedic. And that was the whole point of the glasses. But I mean... <laughs> so... I am fucking crying again. Axel, you son of a bitch. I'm a madman. I'm a fucking oh, madman. I love it. Thank you. This is fantastic. Wedge is I, I think and Carly naked. I think I might actually legit make this into a module and publish it because I'll get art done and everything because I am actually proud of how the structure of it goes. Like, there's a lot of overarching structure that can there's a lot of routes you can end up taking, right? You don't have to take one route to get to this position. You guys could have all come together in the beginning and discussed, and through the hints, you would have slowly realized that pretty quickly that things were not the way they were supposed to be. Which is why this would probably be for a more, you know, uh, experienced and tight-knit group, but I think we've done fine. And, you know, eight strangers came together in a carnival and almost killed each other. <laughs> so the cloak doesn't exist. So the cloak doesn't exist, son. The cloak just... actually does exist. It's just not magic. Okay, that's what I was asking. Oh yeah. The... Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that it that it exists. It's just not magic. That's what I asked. That's what I was asking. Uh, I know it I was isn't confused. magical. Cause remember, Florence checked that out. 
Yeah, yeah, no. That cloak does exist because it, it was given to you afterwards. And which cloak? Lawrence uses that cloak. I don't care. <laughs> Similarly, those glasses exist, but they're just not magical. We don't care. We just, like, you know, I'm perfectly, you know, perfectly acceptable. This laughing so hard, I left. Yeah, yeah. As, um, as you can see, Lawrence just takes out the cloak and just, like, covers herself in it. I was gonna say, because you would it, just honey. now realize that it would be. <laughs> no, no, then Lawrence kind of clarifies that. This wasn't real. Yep. Well, I just mean yeah. that you would just now have realized you were naked, and so that's why you would throw it on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Having I didn't have a said that, uh, you guys do notice that, uh, that the cat, Catharsis, is, like, playing in the dead whole body of, uh, <laughs> like, like, kind of cardboard hey. box in it. Hey! 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 What the fuck, cat? No. I pick up the cat. I pick up the cat. Kavaris, I told you and you I... cannot sit in people's bodies. I so, pick up uh, the cat and I hold the cat. And... Act, act, well, I did roll a 46 to see if they were able to hear me laughing across time and space. Nah, unfortunately not. Damn. You can always pray to Tiamat, see if that helps. <laughs> you just spend a lot of time doing that yeah, as a dead a body. Is that, is, he's just stuck as a dead body. He's got like nothing to do. I even gave you higher chances than I should have for you to actually interact with him. Basically, if you could hit a 90, you could interact with him. But, oh man, I rolled a fucking 82. Yeah, you were pretty close on that one. But you didn't quite um, get it. Um, Florence is gonna ask for it. Um, hey, um, Carlos, can I borrow that call? Yeah, take it. And Florence kind of does so. And... Because... I'm just going to ask the skull a quick question. Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, I, I mean, this is just a moment of thought process. I, my eyes are glowing. Yeah. Bright Wait, green. what? They are? Yeah, they're... Don't you... The jewels that you thought were in them before. They're not jewel, there's no jewels. Or at least I don't think there's any need for them. No, no, no. If they're glowing, that means that the third eye is somewhere around here. Uh, third eye? Yeah, I told you I have two eyes. I need a third one. Well, I took back the gem that I had that you took from me. Well, then What's that actually a gem? Because right now his eyes are glowing. I could stick soul in it. Not gonna solve our answer. Uh, as well as, um, oh shit, as well as, um, Florence is gonna kind of look to Carly and, um, and Celestial, she's gonna say, and, you know, Jenny looks, is one, uh, looks like one of those monsters, right? Just a little, it looks half like it. Rude! Ha! Told you, Jenny. Shut up, Jenny. Yeah. Man, they uh, they wait, argue wait, more can than you, we do. Wait a minute, can't no, you understand shut what up. the Florence just said? Like, could wait a minute? Could uh, couldn't they could they hear understood what Florence said? Oh, those two? Yeah. They speak all kinds of languages. Um. Oh. Uh, I mean, one uh, is a demi lich, and the other is a mm, sightseer. She probably just knew what you said ten minutes ago. Oh, uh, which one? It's like I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. It's just like I um, that was a nice scare. Half. Florence hmm. uh, kind of looks to Jenny. It's like, you want to explain this to her? Or do you want me to try to give a um, nice image? Fine, I'll tell her. And then you just hear Jenny. Giggling. <laughs> Hush you. So, however many years ago it's been now, it's been a long time. Shut up, Jenny. Anyway, however many years ago when we unfortunately stumbled upon this thing as a carnival troupe, mm -hmm. the three of us, me, 
Jenny and Zareth. I call him Zareth because he doesn't deserve the OS, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess mm -hmm. I didn't work there. I don't know why. Uh, sorry. But, she said, okay, apparently I can't do that. Yeah. Hey! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, you got the attention now. I get to decide what to do with it. Oh, uh -oh. oh, you wanted, you wanted, you wanted to roll that, not telling me to roll that because I rolled it and I got a hundred without the plus fifty. No, 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 you're good. Damn. Because you should have done one d whatever. Because that's your roll to get her attention. Yeah, and then I saw in the whisper after that you said roll one d one hundred plus. Yeah, 50. no, that was me. I was trying to secret roll you. Didn't work. Oh. Not did not secret roll, so I just rolled it. Mm. So you got lucky. You got a good yeah. roll. You also got a pretty decent bonus for that one because you asked nicely, and I felt like it. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have barely won it. But that just means you got attention. That doesn't mean it necessarily good things. Yeah. But she says when we stumbled upon this land, it was very slow. Suddenly, things were changing. Even for people like Jenny here and Zarathos, they were losing track of time. Things changed. The, the stories didn't always match up. Eventually, we figured out that something was taking us, but we never expected it to be the carnival. I mean, you have to understand... It became the equipment, it became the food, it became everything. Hey. Luckily for me, I was able to see the future because it wasn't now. It wasn't able to block my view of what would be. However, I also saw that I could not escape on my own strength. In fact, none of us could. So I decided that if I was going to live, I'd do whatever it took. Oh, so no. now this half of my body is the carnival. And she kind of like pops uh, two of the buttons on her shirt near her midriff just to show you that the line goes all the way down the center of her body. It's a constant struggle to keep it at bay, but this is how I was able to stay here in the carnival without being devoured and, you know, not being a giant cat, dumb giant cat. In distance. No. Meow. I made it deep. You made it like, I was just like, meow. Well, no, because that one was uh... Catharsis. Oh, I apologize, I apologize. But I, there is also a larger echoing no. No. <laughs> uh. Do we hear that? Nope. <laughs> so... Unless the actual makes me roll a d100 to see if you hear it. There it goes, we hear it, we hear it. We're just gonna do like that. I mean, it's up to you guys. You could roll a really high perception check and hear it. I was like, what was that? Who the fuck said that? And I just realized I fucked up the spelling there. 18? Yeah. 11, so... Nah, uh, nope. Nah. 18? Yeah, no. No, I don't hear anything. Mm -mm. Sorry, Wed. Um... So... Wedge, Wedge is gonna poke Carly again in soul form. You know what you gotta roll. Yeah, yeah if I, can... I, I, I know what I gotta roll. Need a little coin and it's like, okay, so. What are with these awkward ass fucking spin? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, 91. <laughs> oh, wait, I said that was supposed to be do, not be. Oh, 91, huh? Yeah. Alright. 
so uh, you feel like the wind brush against you. Not you, but her. Yeah, that would that'd be uh, Carly. Yep, you just like feel wind, wind, like kind of the wind. just. I didn't know there was wind in this. Weird. Anyway. Yeah, I've been dead here. Um, um, this is going to be a lot, and it makes me wonder how much of what you've said is true and what isn't. I mean, I'm guessing you. I'm guessing the reason why you you probably going to be more inclined to tell the truth is because you don't want to scare the same face, or they just sort of come to freeze it. Is our only option now to put this soul in that corpse? Well, I mean, there's always the options, but that's one of them. Is that a good option? That, I mean, might be the best one you got. I mean, see. But, um... Uh, did I give you the soul back, or do I still have it? Um, you gave it back to Florence. And Florence's like, okay, so that's that. But also, we're running into the bigger issue. We're Once we get out of here, we're going to be prattling around here, you know. Kindly, you know, without my John. Of a okay, cloak. Okay, darling. That matters so little right now to me. Like, that's nothing to me. I mean, like, it's, it's gonna sound crazy if we get out of here and then, you know, try to explain it to the local town that doesn't think this is something else. I am incredibly hot. They won't mind. <laughs> just like, you know, this is just why I'm questioning everything. So, um, yeah, I picked the cat up and I have the cat in my arms. Um, go ahead, Florence, just shove it in. Shove uh, the soul in. Uh, 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 you know, no, 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 no. Crazy shit no. already happened. You do it. Fine. I take it and I shove it in his mouth. All right. So you're, uh -oh. sh you're shoving it into the corpse's mouth? Corpses yes, or the, uh, the after uh, uh, That's a good question now. Skull. Before, before, who do I sh who do I shove it in his mouth of? You have the skull right now, Florence. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. So you get to decide. Do I shove it into the skull or do I shove it into Wedge? And Florence kind of looks down at the skull, and you also said, because she's like addressing the skull, you said something about your third eye about being around here. Right? Okay. Okay. God is typing. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's not for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Florence is like, you said something about a additional eye being around here because your eyes are glowing. Yes, we're gonna need that too. Okay, so yeah, that, uh, this is definitely details. Details are really important. So, and Florence is going to kind of point out, uh, explain to the full sentiment of what the heck is she referring to. Of the eyes glowing on him and him explaining that is a, his third, a, third additional eye or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. Which apparently is important. Hmm. Do you know where it is? If I had to make a guess, it's in the lake. Of course, it's in the fucking lake. I could throw you in the lake and you could find it. That's well, not an answer. I kind of don't want to be down there. But I mean... What's down there? Well... I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna do an insight check on that. <laughs> hey, I better see if he does know. Did we actually insight... Or did we actually, like, perception check the skull? <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, no, you did. did. She did yeah. the skull. Sorry, yeah, just the skull. Okay. That's and oh, the that's... and and, and then, yeah. Yeah. 
What about this cat that I'm cradling to my bosom? Can I check that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be doing that. that, especially since you're the one that's cuddling the thing. I also I'm want to remind you that bosom. it is covered in gore. That is gross. Well, I mean, you picked it up. You like just... I oh. didn't. I forgot that it was covered in gore. Well, it was inside a dead body. Yeah, that's a natural twenty. Why am I only rolling twenties or ones today? Because anything in between just doesn't work. You. It's just not cool enough. <laughs> Live life to extremes. That is the one cool, dangerous dice. And uh, Florence is like. Uh, looking at that lake, and she's gonna, uh, can she get a perception check or investigate that lake, cause... I wanna help! Yeah, because it's already a bunch of crazy scenarios, this looks too easy to be true. That too. Also, I forgot the cat was covered in gore. Florence, can you clean, clean the gore off of me, please? Fine! No! What car you had to say being naked and bloody. Clean and not clothed. There's a difference. Clean and bloody, or clean and clean and unclothed. I will be clean and unclothed. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, no. She has to stay naked and bloody. No, the heck Listen, she I don't know why you want me to be bloody and covered in your gore. That's disgusting. <laughs> we already know why. <laughs> uh, you're a creep. Oh god. What'd you get for your roll? Uh, for... I don't... It, Axel didn't tell me which one to roll. Shoot. For Prest, or...? For the lake, because she does not trust that lake. Uh, yes. Well, at first you were trying to see if he was telling the truth, right? Yeah. Uh, he, he actually is. He doesn't know what's in the lake. Okay. As far as looking into the lake perception, probably. Okay. And you have advantage. I'm giving you advantage. Yeah, 15 for that lake looking. Uh, it seems like there's something glowing on the bottom of it. But, but is the lake it... normal? <laughs> I mean, eh? Does it look like 30 feet down? I mean, Florence can do it. It's not hard. Florence can do it. It's just that but she's like, worried it. I mean, without having to worry about air. Keep this in mind. If Carly goes in there, she's gonna have to worry about air. I was just gonna mage hand it. No getting in the water required. True, that could work, but we don't know how, you know, heavy this thing is. That is true. Cool. Good luck, Florence. And before she does that, she's gonna probably have to dismiss floating disc unless you want a floating float a uh, disc with um well um wedges body mm. just following her. Well, I mean that's get, probably not a good idea. It's not like you're yeah. going anywhere else. You just drop him on the ground. I just just set him down nicely. Because he's yeah. naked. In which she's just not just looks anywhere. You're not- you're not even looking at us at all. You're not- you're just looking away. You're such a prude. In which, for Lawrence is not in the mood for this. This is- this is a long day. She's just done. Okay, and... You know, Lawrence is just like, okay, let's try this. And kind of puts the cloak down, gives it to- or he more or less gives it to Ursul, and just- Jumps into the water. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. This is giving you bardic inspiration. Yep, pretty much. And Florence is going down to that spot where she saw the glowing. Which Axel is gonna have to ping because I don't see it. And then you're gonna get swallowed up by the Kraken. It's actually the Megalodon. Oh, oh, the Megalodon, my bad. Jesus Christ, I hate Megalodon sharks. Do not even at me. Christ's sake. <laughs> I'm glad they went extinct. Someone at her. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Let's see how does this go. How how much chaos incurred from this? Yeah, Florence got there down there pretty mu pretty much got down there pretty easily. Six seconds. Ooh, pretty. So you see that it's uh down there, and it seems to be in like a small rock of some kind, like just on the surface, kind of been dented into it, but not very deep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's uh it's just sitting on a rock at the bottom of the pool. Investigate that thing, cause uh, uh, that looks too easy. <laughs> this looks really fucking too easy. Please. With a thirteen, probably not that much. You're bardic inspired. Don't oh. forget that. Add a plus six. Well, a D six. Yeah. Add a D six. Fourteen. <laughs> Add a D six. Rolls a one. Well, uh, you uh, you don't see anything. It doesn't seem bad. Seems all right. Christ's sake. Seen. Seen scared the shit out of me. But it looks fine. Oh. Okay, Florence well, is gonna go for it. And really, uh, can make a dash for it, please, if she has to. She can dash in the water, because she actually has a swimming speed. Alright. She can dash. Grab some diamond and make the a beeline to shore. All right. Chicken dash if you want to. So when Chicken you uh, when you grab that, mm -hmm. you're going to need to make a uh, athletic strength check. Athletics, right? Yep. Please up this. Uh, nope. Uh, with a six, nope. So, uh, because of this, when you go to pull off, you actually don't. The, the, the gem itself weighs a, t a lot. Like, it's small, but it weighs a lot. Uh, at least, thankfully, she doesn't have to worry about air. But she's just like, the fuck? And before you ask, yeah, that is, this is the case. Mm. You good? And which Florence comes up to the surface like it, it, it looks easy, but this thing is heavy as a heavy. Yeah, it contains all the knowledge of mankind. You just hear this skull randomly yell out. Do you have magic that will help her? Fuck no. Damn. I was 100% going to eat you in the lake if you said yes, just so you know. Well, I'm glad I didn't say yes. I'm glad you didn't eat me in the lake. For all we know, it would have turned into lava. Um, yeah, you got that wild magic thing going on, don't you? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can I go help her? I mean, let's see if I, I, mean, I'll see why not. I go and help her. I, you want me, you, I gotta do the thing. I gotta wait in there and help him. Yeah, and which, you, since you don't have a natural swim speed, it technically counts as physical strength in your speed 15. That takes me speed. So it takes me 12 seconds to get out there. And I take a big breath, I go, I take a deep breath in, I take a deep breath out, I take a deep breath in, and I dive down and I try to grab it. In which Florence helps because she knows this is not gonna be pretty. Alright, hey, what's your strength for? What's if that? you had to put it on like a scale of one to five, Florence, what's your strength? Uh, <laughs> Florence has a negative one modifier. Uh, give me advantage. <laughs> that's <laughs> me on this, Florence. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I said Florence is helping you. Okay, so she's helping me. I'll roll my rainbow and my big die. Uh, I'm just going what? to uh, say that I love what is going on right now between, you know, Axel and me. Because it is 
Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Tiamat oh. helping you? Heh. <laughs> no. No, she's not. Oh. As one oh, would no. expect of a, uh, a lawful evil deity. Yeah. Fucking dipshit. All right. Uh. <laughs> Wedge loves you too, Carly. Uh. I'm 18. That's with advantage? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I rolled a 2 and so 16. My athletic uh, is plus 2. Alright. You are now... Uh, you are able to lift it off the pedestal. However, once you do, you notice something. Fuck. For whatever reason, uh, you felt like... The crystals seem to like get softer when it came off the edge or something. It seems like because now you can't seem to let go of the crystal. Awesome, guys! Wait, awesome. Even what Florence is, up, is her hand also stuck to this crystal? Yep. Anybody who was touching it when it came up off of the edge of the thing is stuck to it. I pull my hand back. Does her hand come with me? Uh, I mean, you, her hand and the jewel, yeah. <laughs> I pull her around. That's gonna and, require and, like, a Like, you're in the water, you're doing this. It's just like, or it's just like, fucking stop. <laughs> oh, okay, so I start to swim to shore. I start to swim to shore. Yeah, and Florence is definitely just like swimming ahead of because she's. <laughs> So she's gotta just drag, got someone dragging. <laughs> yeah, you're dragging me. Once you, once I realize you can go faster, I'm just like letting you pull me along. All right, you're going to need to strength check as you move. I know this is great because Oops. no, this is this is comical. All right, so we're gonna need another strength check here from the other person moving. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're both moving it, so. Uh, oh, that's cocked. Which is great how this is going. Uh, strength? Mm hmm. Mm, ten? Ah, you guys, uh, unfortunately are able to hold it up, but are not able to move forward underwater. Uh, can that I marks, try again? Uh, we're gonna say that like marks about three turns that you've been underwater so far. Um, I how do you hold your breath? I believe it has to do with your constitution modifier. Obviously, someone okay. doesn't have to. Exactly. <laughs> I have a plus three but, in my constitution But, uh, another modifier. person does in your group right now, real quick, does. Yeah, I have a plus three in my modifier. So, uh, a creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus his constitution modifier. Four minutes? Yep. Yeah, Christ. However, Good that's God. however, that's if you're not doing anything. Hmm. Oh shit. Yeah, they don't it say was... that it's but that's a pretty reasonable assumption is that uh yeah. Okay. Um so this is better uh let's try again. This time I'm actually going to help. And going to move us. Let's try to move us again quickly. Yeah. Is yeah. it strength? Yes. And a reminder, you're going to have to swim up the last part, which will actually be harder. 11? No, 12. 12. All right. And your roll, Lauren? A three. Uh, yeah, you guys don't quite make it anywhere. You're still stuck there. <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, that's Keep four going. rounds now, so we're almost at a minute. Six rounds being a minute. Fuck. Uh, I will try again. I like this. This is one of my favorite traps I've ever made. No, oh, no! <laughs> it's only a 17! A 17 now! It's only on you now! Yeah. I'm a 17. <laughs> What was yours? 17. Okay, you guys are able to take a step forward. A step? Yep. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh, this thing's heavy. I'm How talking... many steps left do we have to go? Man, if only Wedge was there. Quark, okay, you're the one that you are literally the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, seven steps. Because how deep did we say the water was? It, it rises anyway, so you only have to go like five feet from the edge over here. So it's really seven steps. So one, two, three. You get the point. Oh, six steps, sorry. Yeah. Six steps. So. Okay, and we're going to move the gem too. All right. I have one, oh. two, three, oh, yep. four, five. Uh, six, seven d20s in my hand right now. Oh lord. I'm gonna roll them all at once. Come on, one of these gotta be a 20. Uh, would you believe none of them are 20s? I would. Um, yeah, I could totally believe that. That's how my life works. Alright, so... One of one of my strengths, I'll start from lowest and go to highest. Uh uh nine? No ten. Okay. Uh sixteen. Well you might want to save them because you need to partner them with Florence. Oh. Because okay. if one okay. of you goes forward and the other does not. Okay. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is just comical. Florence, oh, yeah. I love you. <laughs> Florence is just cool. having a little bit of a trouble because of... <laughs> this is just great. Okay, um... This is how I die. Um, okay, so... I had... The, uh, ten. Uh, and Florence is in this. So wait, that's, uh, yeah, you can cho choose which ones you want to combo together, I guess. Okay, you said a ten, right? Mm -hmm. I said ten. I'll do it with the eleven. Alright, so that should get you guys forward. Okay. Uh, eleven. And a reminder that so, for instance, if you go diagonally in this direction, so too, does Florence have to go diagonally? Okay. So that it maintains this pattern of two people carrying it. Okay. So, 11. I'll do it a 15. That should be good. 19. Uh, slight problem is... <laughs> Oh boy, I eight. Sadly an eight. No, oh, should be good. Um seventeen. Uh five. Alright, that should be good. I think that should get you guys out of the water. Ah oh, rad, I didn't die. Yeah. It's no, actually I, easier what? because you guys did it together. Cause you what the goal was is you had to hit twenty if you wanted to move it every single time. So. Good God. Good yeah. God. And so I just combined these together. Granted, I shouldn't uh, have done that, but that's how we did it. 